Hey what's happening guys, it's about Nagpal for Ike and Dad in and today we are going to be unboxing and taking a look at the new Motorola Moto X Force. Now the Motorola Moto X Force comes with a unique thing that Motorola calls Shatter Shield. Now this prevents the display of the Moto X Force from shattering when it drops or falls onto hard surfaces no matter where you drop it from your ear height or your waist height the phone supposedly survives we're going to test that out and uh, we're also going to look at some of the other specifications inside uh, the device so but first let's go on ahead and unbox the moto x first and see what all is inside the box so opens like a book really nice uh, packaging over here so this is the new moto x first you can see shatter shield uh, technology you have a nice 3760 milliamp hour battery, 21 megapixel and 5 megapixel camera combos. You also get turbo charging, micro SD card expandability and an 8 core Snapdragon 810 chipset. So that's great. A really nice finish, all metal frame and this rugged back panel and of course the shatter shield glass. I'm going to put this to the side. I'm going to go further in and see what all else is inside. So you get uh, a bunch of documentation, most of which nobody will ever read, so I'm just going to put it away. It's going to have a user manual and warranty information, etc. You also get earphones, which is fantastic. So you have these in-ear style earphones, no ear tips on these uh, because they are in-canal type earphones. You also have uh, Motorola logos on the back. And then you have an inline microphone and a push button along with a 3.5mm headphone jack. You'll also get a SIM removal tool from Motorola. And if we go further over here, you'll get the turbo charger. Now the downside to this is you don't get an additional cable, a USB cable. Uh, but if you had any Android phone in the past, you'll probably have one of those. So the turbo charger has the cable already on it. So that's everything from the box. Uh, let's take a closer look at the new Moto X Force. So over at the front you have a 5 megapixel camera along with some sensors and a forward firing flash for lighting up those selfies. Below that you have a 2560 by 1440 pixel 5.4 inch AMOLED display uh, which will give you deep blacks and really nice colors. And uh, below that you'll see that the touch capacitive buttons don't exist, so the buttons are on screen. And where the buttons are supposed to be are dual front firing speakers, uh, which actually give it a really good volume boost when you're using the device. Over at the bottom you'll see the micro USB charging port, which is also your turbo charging port. And over at the right is your volume rocker, along with the main power button. Now these are textured, so they give you easy grip and you can identify them easily. On the top is a 3.5mm headphone jack and a dual slot for your micro SD card along with your SIM card and there's nothing over at the left of the device. On the back you'll see this really nice textured back panel that looks really nice and uh, you also have a 21 megapixel f2 face detection autofocus equipped camera and you have dual tone LED flash. You have the indentation with the Motorola logo where you can rest your finger. Feels really nice in the hand. The phone is really robust, really well built and it feels like it will survive and well we're going to be testing it out anyway. Before we get into testing uh, the drop test or the shatterproof capabilities of this device, uh, what I'm going to do is talk about specifications. So running everything is the Qualcomm Snapdragon 810. So heating might be an issue and we're going to test that out. Uh, you get Adreno 430 GPU, 32 or 64 gigabyte options along with 3 gigabyte of RAM. The battery is a 3760 mAh battery, so you don't have to worry about your battery life when you're using this device. Uh, the back has ballistic nylon, so it might actually prevent or save somebody's life if you fire at it. Uh, so ballistic nylon is uh, definitely very, very robust. The phone is priced for around 49900 uh, which means that it puts it right up there in the expensive list. But if the screen is shatterproof and it actually is, then this might be a worthy investment because you'll never need to put on a screen protector because the screen is not going anywhere anytime soon. Now, if we talk about the operating system, you're running Android 5.1.1. And when we started this device up, we found uh, a quick software update notification. And when we tried to update it, 
it wouldn't update it so i'm guessing it's pre release that we are testing this out so the update might be available almost immediately after the device goes on sale so it will be updated to android marshmallow now as all other motorola devices the moto x force is running stock android and does not come with any preloaded bloatware so the interface is completely clean very fast very responsive and you only have the moto application that allows you to customize and uh, use your phone according to your requirements you also get a bunch of gestures so you can double flip or uh, flick your wrist twice to enable the camera and do a karate chop to enable uh, the led flash so this can be done when the screen is off as well you also have a bunch of other gestures you can wave your hand in front of the screen to uh, wake up the screen as you approach and it will give you notifications etc so you don't really have to pick up your phone to see if you have any missed calls etc you can just wave your finger or your hand around the device and it will show up the notifications which is really fantastic now the phone has a turbo charging two capable uh, charger so you do get quick charge in about an hour and 5 to 10 minutes uh the device is fully charged that's 3700 milliamps in a full hour which is fantastic for a device of this capability now we dropped the device from a couple of places so in in our initial test we dropped it from waist height and uh, face height and nothing really happened to the display uh, but then we took it up a notch and then we took it outdoors and we went up to 1000 feet and dropped the device and see what really happened to the moto x force in that video and i'm going to link it in the description below so you can go check that out if you talk about the camera the camera is a 21 megapixel camera with an f2 lens that means that you'll get good or decent low light capability you also have face detection auto focus that means that you'll get really quick focus uh, the camera ui is completely raw so no customizations as far as the camera app is concerned so i highly recommend downloading a nice application for the camera and using that Uh, although if you're just going to be clicking pictures and video basic pictures and videos the main camera app will suffice you also get hdr capability you also have a 4k video recording uh, which shouldn't be a surprise for a phone of this price bracket uh, but you also get slow mo at uh, 720p so you can get a uh, slightly uh, good quality slow mo video at 720p as well if you want that the camera seems to be really good you get really good detail and uh, color uh the contrast is fantastic and you get sharpness in your images even in low light conditions so we tested that out so overall uh, the device is fantastic in terms of price is where it seems to be a little high but then you also have the shatter shield uh that is going to save up all uh, your future expenses i mean if you get this device then this truly may become the nokia 3310 of this generation well that's it for uh, this video guys uh if you like this video give it a quick thumbs up and make sure you share it with your friends If you're not already then make sure you subscribe to iGan for all your daily updates on tech this has been Bharat Nagpal guys thank you for watching